Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet the two lip stitch uh, dish cloth. Um, you um, will learn to crochet with uh, three different colors. And um, overall, it is an um, easy uh, project and uh, quick too. And my dish cloth measures about six and a half inches on each side. And uh, let's first see uh, what kind of yarn I'm using. And I'm using Lion Brand uh, yarn that is called Re-Up. And uh, this is an interesting one. It is a recycled uh, cotton. And um, it is 85% cotton, 15% polyester, machine washable, dryable. Uh, it's a uh, medium weight, size 4. I have uh, white, pink, and green, one of each. And the crochet hook is size 4 millimeters. So let's get started. And starting with my white yarn, I'm going to make a slip knot and then chain 26. Two, three, four, five, six. And if you want to make this uh, bigger, this pattern is a multiple of four plus two. And for the first row, I'm going to single crochet in each chain, starting with that second chain from hook. Insert hook here, and now single crochet in each chain. So you have 25. And second row, chain one and turn. And again, single crochet, one in each stitch. Total 25. Row 3, chain 1 and turn. Now single crochet into the first stitch. Then chain 2. And now double crochet 3 into the same stitch. The first one two and three now skip next three stitches one two three insert into the next and make a single crochet and repeat chain two double crochet three into the same space two and three Skip three, one, two, three, single crochet into the next and chain two until the end of third row. And now my last single crochet stitch here. Uh, before I finish it, I will join my green color. So I'll take the hook out for now make a slip knot with green insert hook back through these uh, last two loops insert it through the slip knot and also yarn over the working yarn the white so now you have these four loops pull these two loops through the stitch loops so you have now both of these yarns up here and now I'm just going to separate them and keep working with my green chain two turn and starting row four going to make double crochet into this first single crochet and a half double crochet also in the same stitch 
next reach over to this double crochet here the last one up here and insert hook on top of that and make a single crochet next find your single crochet here this one insert hook and make make a half double crochet in it Then also make a double crochet in it and make one more half double crochet in it. So these are going to be our tulip uh, leaves. And a side note, when I joined my green yarn, I did not cut off the white. So keep it here, uh, waiting for next rows. And next, uh, again, find this uh, last double crochet on that previous round and single crochet on top of that. Next, find that single crochet stitch down here and again, make a half double crochet in it. Also, double crochet and again, half double crochet. And repeat again single crochet into this one here do this until the end of this row and I'm going to finish this row with uh, one half double crochet and double crochet into this beginning single crochet stitch right here so half and then double but before I finish my double crochet Two loops on hook I need to now join my pink take out the hook make a slip knot with pink insert hook through the stitch loops also through the slip knot yarn over the working yarn and pull these two loops through the stitch loops and now I'm going to cut off my green yarn. I always keep my white yarn here, I'm not cutting that off, but the colored yarns I need to cut off after each row. Now separate the yarns, find the pink one, and Starting uh, row five, chain two and turn. And now make two double crochets together and insert your hook between these two green stitches. So not up here, but through the post of these stitches. Start your first double crochet, then yarn over and again insert it through the same space. Start your second and then pull through three loops and hook. That's our beginning uh, flower here. Then chain one. And now insert your hook between the uh, first half double crochet and double crochet of that previous green row. So between first and second stitch here. Make a single crochet. And now chain three, two, three. And now we're gonna do three double crochets together. It's the cluster. And inserting hook into that same space here. So start your first double crochet, yarn over, start your second. Don't finish, keep these last loops on hook, and then start your third. And now, when we have four loops on hook, going to pull through all of them. That's our first uh, full flower. Uh, chain one and then it repeats 
find that next uh, leaf here, the space between first and second half double crochet and double and make single crochet in it. Then chain three and make the next flower. Three double crochets together. Start first, start second, start third. Now pull through four loops on hook and chain one. And then repeat this till the end of this row. And now the end of row five, I'm going to do the last flower. This one is smaller one, chain three, and make a two double crochets together here. And so uh, before you finish it, when you have three loops on hook, bring back your white yarn so that you can pull both of them through these last three loops and then cut off the pink yarn and row six with uh, white yarn chain one and turn and now single crochet on top of that last double crochet cluster and then it goes the same way as the green row so make a half double crochet find that next single crochet stitch down here make a half double crochet uh, double crochet and another half double crochet in it and then single crochet on top of that next double crochet cluster and again into the next single crochet stitch to half double crochet double crochet and half and then single crochet stitch in here and repeat this and we can end this row with the single crochet stitch on top of that last flower double crochet cluster and from here we just need to repeat these rows from um, one through six uh, two more times so chain one and starting row seven we're going to single crochet one in each stitch row eight also just single crochet one in each row nine is going to be this one row 10 is the green one row 11 the pink flower one row 12 that last one we just finished so i'll repeat the pattern two more times and so i finished repeating the pattern two more times this side now is my right side but I actually finished my second row of single crochet stitches on the wrong side. And now uh, we are ready to make the edge. So for that first chain one and turn and then just a single crochet along this top side one in each and then let's do the first side together to see the stitch placement. So I made single crochets until the last stitch. Now into this last one I'm going to make two more because this is uh, our corner, first corner. And now turning on this side, <clears throat> the first stitch I'm going to make here around this post through the white yarn. Next one is in here where the white and pink join. Next one into the pink right here. Next one I'm gonna make two into the green 
and I recommend keeping these yarn tails on the back not don't bring them along within the stitches just weave them in later it's gonna look better so first uh, stitch into the green and now order the second one and now three into the white first one right here second here keep that yarn back here and third one here and then repeat the first pink where the white and pink join second into the pink right here and then two into the green one and two and now three into the white one two three do this till the end of this side so I made three stitches here into the white and now I'm on the bottom side these are my beginning chains I'm going to stitch into these and here you can bring this uh, beginning tail within the stitches so you don't have to weave in that one later so here's my first chain and I'm going to do three stitches in it for the corner two three and then just single crochet one in each of these uh, bottom chains and into this uh, last bottom chain I'm gonna make three again one two three for the corner and now the side again so on this side I'm going to do two stitches into the white one two next one is going to be where the green starts one next into the green next one also into the green and then two into the pink one and two and so that way we are going to have the same stitch count as on the other side so it is uh, seven stitches total so for the white green and pink three two and two and then just repeat three again into the white two into the green two into the pink and i finished with three stitches into the white and in this corner i'm going to make the handle uh, so chain 20 three four five seven and then I'm going to single crochet into that same space and then I'm gonna do the second round for the edge and for this on top and bottom sides I'm going to slip stitch not single crochet so on this side and this side on these sides I'm gonna do single crochets so first do the slip stitches until the end and I reached that uh, middle single crochet here I did on the last round for the corner so in that one make two single crochets and then make one single crochet in each stitch on this Side. Uh, that's the left side and the same here into this middle stitch of the corner I'm going to make two single crochets and on the bottom side again I'm going to slip stitch not single crochet
one more time into the middle stitch make two single crochets and on that right side single crochet in each stitch and I reached the handle I'm going to make slip stitches into each uh, handle chain and then the final stitch I'm going to make a slip stitch into this same space so make a slip stitch here cut off the yarn and fasten off so then you can pull this end back here and weave it into this uh, into these stitches here so now uh, let's weave in all the ends and then we're done and here's my finished uh, tulip stitch dishcloth and i hope you uh, like this tutorial uh, it'll be helpful to make your own dishcloth for this um, Easter or springtime and um, let me know if you have any questions I'm happy to help thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting